To access the design rules, go to Setup Design Rules. From here we can set up the default rules or rules per net on our board. For each of these we can set up clearance and routing rules. There are many different clearances to set up in the clearance rule area. You can change the clearances all at once or per row or column. This area is also where you can set up your minimum and maximum trace widths. In the routing rules area, we can set up which layers are available for routing, as well as which vias should be used during the routing process. At this point, we have only set up default rules for the design. In the net rules area, we can select one or multiple nets to change the clearance and routing rules to make them different than the default. In this example, I will select the power and ground nets, go into the clearances tab, and change the recommended trace width. This changes the behavior of just these nets so that it will by default route the 12 mil trace instead of the 6 mil. We can also change which vias will be available for routing on certain nets by selecting them and changing their routing rules. Note that it is easy to see which nets have been changed from the default by the C or R next to the net name, indicating clearance or routing rule changes.